this video you will learn how you can make a ragdoll out of a character. Let's have a look at our character first. I'm here in the content third person blueprints and let's open up this character right here. In the viewport you can see this character, click on its mesh and you can see here skeleton mesh asset and you can browse to the content and let's double click to open this one. When you're inside of here, you can go here down to the left side and I look for the tab physics. If you can't find it right away, you can type here physics. Then you see the physics asset and you can double click on that physics assets. Now from here, you can click and simulate and you can see the ragdoll falling down. You can test out again and you see these bubbles around our character. Now we can scale those up and down and let's see what happens. Let's change the camera speed to two, for example, so we can get more closer. Now let's see what happens. Um, when I select the head, for example, and I scale this up way too big. So by default, this is already set up uh, good because it's a default character. And now let's simulate this again. And then you can see his head doesn't fully touch the ground because his capsule is too big. So you need to fix this one up. But if you make it too small, so let me show you that as well. Then his head goes through the ground. So simulate once again. See? So it needs to be the size of the head, this collision at least. And let's make it as big as before. Well, this is already way better. Or you can control Z to undo that one and simulate once more. And so you can, okay, you can see this is already way better. And so you can click all these different ones and see if they uh, fit your character. Now, this is all fine, but for your character, this may not be good. You can also tweak these values here and click on regenerate bodies to test, and then you may have an easier time regenerating this. But you came here to uh, ragdoll your character. So if this is already set up, you can click save. And then you go back to your uh, character right here. But in the event graph, let's find some empty space and let's say I want to show this when I hit the F key. I want to ragdoll him out. So from pressed, you drag off and then you set simulate physics and you want to select the mesh because the mesh, let me show you in the viewport with the mesh like this, this is our character that we see on screen. So this is the one I want to simulate physics and then make sure this checkbox is enabled. And now let's see what this already does. So hit F and he falls through the ground. This has to do with the collision. So I have the mesh selected. Then in the details, look for the collision. And right here, the collision presets is de by default at a character mesh. And then you can guess we're going to select ragdoll. And now this will already be fun. So you can see he ragdolls out. But I can still move around. So let's also fix that one up. First of all, we need to here disable input. And you have a player controller, get player controller. And to be really sure, you can also go like here, stop movement immediately. And this comes out from the character movement. So now I simulate physics and he will stop moving and my input will be disabled as well. So now again, and I'm uh, moving around, but nothing happens. This is because I first ragdoll him out, I can't do input and to make sure he stops movement immediately. And then you can have some fun and let them hit walls or something. And you can also apply this to characters. So this is the basics of how you can set up ragdolls in Unreal Engine 5. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects, and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course, The Unreal Vault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks, including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.